I want to discuss foreign exchange bid ask spreads. Now the bid price is a price a dealer is willing to pay for something. That is the buy price from the dealer's perspective. The ask price is the amount a dealer charges for something. That's the sell price from the dealer's perspective. The bid ask spread is the difference between the bid and the ask prices. And the ask price is always higher than the bid price to ensure the dealer makes a profit on the transaction. And if you think about it, no dealer is going to sell for a lower price than he or she purchases the item for. Now, this is quite straightforward for stocks because we only quote the price one way. For example, how many dollars it takes to buy a share of, say, Microsoft stock. But it's different for foreign exchange because you can quote the price in two ways. For example, how many dollars it takes to buy a pound or how many pounds it takes to buy a dollar. In the first case, you're pricing pounds in dollar terms. In the second, you're pricing dollars in pound terms. So let's take a look at an example here. So here we have um, the exchange rate between the dollar and the pound, and we're going to look at the American or direct quote system versus the European or indirect quote system. So the direct quote we mean from a U.S. perspective. Um, the American terms is already quite clear. So in this case, in American terms or in direct quote terms, it's a dollar eleven point oh seven cents to buy a pound sterling. That's the bid. The ask is a dollar eleven point one one, so it's higher than the bid price. Now the bid in the American terms is equal to the ask in European terms. So sort of think about it. The American quote tells us how much a pound costs in dollars. The European quote tells us how much a dollar costs in pounds. If you have dollars and you need pounds, you can think of selling dollars for pounds or using dollars to buy pounds. Selling pounds for um, $1.1107 is equivalent to buying dollars at 0 0.90003 pounds. So although buying pounds in dollars is the same as selling pounds for dollars, what's the best way to think of the transaction? Well, if we have an American quote, we want to convert pounds to dollars. We know the number of dollars it takes to buy a pound or how many dollars we receive for selling pounds. So in this case, think about selling pounds for dollars. If we have a European quote, we want to convert pounds to dollars. We know the number of pounds it takes to buy a dollar. So in this case, think about buying dollars with pounds. So let's take a look at an example. Suppose we have a businesswoman who's just completed transactions in France and England. So she's now holding 250,000 euros and 500,000 pounds, and she wants to convert this to U.S. dollars. So here are the quotes. So the number of pounds it takes to buy a dollar is 0 0.9000. That's the bid. And the ask, we just slap on um, 03 onto the end, so it would be 0 0.9003 would be the ask. And the number of dollars it takes to buy a euro is a dollar three for the for the bid, and a dollar three o three for the ask. So the first quote is the price of dollars, the second the price of euros. And this businesswoman wants to convert to dollars. So for the pounds, she knows how many dollar, uh, how much a dollar costs in terms of pounds. So she'll want to buy $500,000, 500,000 pounds worth of dollars at the ask price. So we take the 500,000 pounds, we divide it by 
the ask price of 0 0.9003 um, pounds per dollar, and we get $555,370. For the euros, she knows how much a euro costs in terms of dollars, dollars. She so she knows how many dollars she receives for each euro she sells. So she'll want to sell 250,000 euros at the bid price of 1.03, and she'll get $257,500. And the total, if you sum those up, should be $812,870. So, you know, you can do it both ways, but certainly in the um, case of the euros, it's really obvious. If you know how many dollars you get for each euro, it's really easy to think about just selling your euros for a dollar three. And so this is the way you convert these and um, I hope this um, helps to clarify some of the confusion.